Libras! I'm back again! <laughs> Welcome to your weekly love reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is going to be from today, the 26th of September through the 11th of October. You guys know it's been a month for me, all right? I did get back from camping yesterday. I only slept like an hour that night. So when I got home, I was like, all right, I'm going to do Libra. I'm going to get air signs. I actually tried to do jump first, and the Libra, you guys were like, nope, we're first. <laughs> true Libra fashion um and I was doing it and I got all these messages but I was so tired I was like I can't articulate this shit and I passed out for like five hours so I'm back I hope you guys are doing good uh so let's go ahead and get into this so for those who are new to my channel I always go over my meditative session first and then I go ahead and do the pre-shuffle on screen and then I go ahead and do the tarot reading with you guys okay so Libra as I was tapping into your energy I felt a big shift in you guys like I think a lot of you are either like getting your makeover on. It is your birthday. Happy birthday, Libra. So if you're doing that, totally get it. Um, I feel like you guys are just going through a big, big change. And I don't feel like it's bad. It feels really, really positive. This is only for some of you, okay? Not all of you are going through this, but definitely a good majority of you are, where you're either coming into like a new career, a promotion, a new relationship, whatever it is, you're changing a big part of your life, okay? For some, there, some people, they're looking at you like, who are you? Like, you just did a complete 180 on us, you know? So some people are looking at you like that libra so just keep that in mind i do feel for a lot of you though um there is this energy of of return as well okay so some of you you're going through a really big change and you're you're loving it it's positive you're really feeling good about it you might even be having to leave something behind some of you it's something that you don't really want to leave behind okay and i gotta be honest i can i felt that like i felt that hardcore some of you don't want to leave something behind and you're kind of holding on to it whether it's a relationship or just a passion of yours or just nostalgia right like something you're just used to that you can't really carry with you into whatever newness you're going into right um some of you though like i was saying i do feel a return so i'm feeling a different group of libras here where there's something coming up from your past whether it's a person or an issue or what have you, I don't feel like there's many of you in that group, but there's an energy of like defeat around it, okay? So for some of you, it could just be a test of like, hey, have you dealt with this issue? Hey, have you closed out this relationship? Hey, have you worked on this? Hey, have you addressed this? That's really only for some of you. Most of you are going through this big shift, this big change, and it feels really good. It feels really positive, Libra, and it's awesome. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's awesome. But some of you in that group, We'll call you group B of the first group, group 1B. <laughs> uh, no matter what like you're going into, even though it feels good and it's positive, group 1B, there is something you're holding on to that you don't really want to let go of, okay? So that being said, let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle, okay? Oh, Libra, Libra, Libra. I also feel an energy of kind of being ticked off. I feel like for those of you where you're having to leave specifically a person behind or a relationship behind or like some kind of family dynamic behind, someone's really ticked off about it, okay? I can feel that. So whatever it is you're going into, you know what's best for you. You know it is. And so a lot of you, that is career, a career move, okay? So just own it. Don't let anybody bother you about it because you're just doing you, right? Right, okay. Oh, some of you who are in committed relationships who are doing makeovers, your partner might get a little jealous, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying, you're gonna be looking good for those going through the makeover thing, picking up on a lot of different Libras here. Um, they might be a little jealous, so just be mindful of that, okay? And yes, my hair is wet because I'm behind and I gotta work today. Can't wait for my hair to dry. Okay. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from now to October 11th. Keep in mind, guys, October, the beginning of it, it's going to be like a nice breather from the September sep September energy. Uh, the 4th to the 8th, Mars and Venus will both be in Libra. So people's intentions, behaviors, and communication will all be lining up. People are going to be walking the walk and talking the talk. Like, they'll actually be doing it. And it's going to be very harmonious as well. A little bit more calm than what we've been used to. And then Venus goes into Scorpio. And then on the 11th, we have the pre-shadow effect for Mercury retrograde, which will be in Scorpio the whole time it's retrograding. And then post-shadow for that ends in early December, I believe. So it's going to be an interesting little time. Um, but the 11th, I think, is going to be a big day. Because I, I talked about this recently. Because as Mercury goes retrograde and then goes direct later on, like in November, and then we, the post-shadow effect is ending, we're going to see shifts in, in relationships and communication, right? So in October and December, because we're going in and out of this retrograde energy, we will be seeing reconciliations or people coming together. So November is going to be a lull for that. But October and December, we're going to be seeing a lot of that. All right? Just giving you a heads up. Any messages for Libra? 
Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Libra, Sun, Moon, Earth, and Venus, and Jupiter from now till October 11th. And Le my Libras who are going through this really big shift or big change in your life, again, some of you it's just purely aesthetic. Others of you it's a career move or a move in general or going into a relationship here. Um, keep in mind you are going to have haters. People love to hate on Libras. I don't know why. They just do. But you will be having a lot of haters, so just don't let that bother you, okay? Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from now to October 11th. A lot of you got to get this. A lot of you guys will be traveling as well. I did pick up on a lot of travel all of a sudden. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love. Ooh. See what we have here. Oh my. We have the King of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy. Could also be Earth or Air with the Hangman in reverse, Piscean energy. Keep in mind, this is just the pre shuffle. Three of Pentacles in reverse, Cappy energy here. Oh boy. Wow. Uh, <laughs> someone, someone is not grounded. Libra, I don't feel like this is your energy. I feel like this is someone who's connected to you. I feel a little bit of a manipulative energy. Someone's realizing, though, that they don't really have control over you. Mm. Yeah. This is a manipulative energy, and they're waking up to the fact, like, holy shit, when did I lose control of my Libra? Why is Libra not cooperating with me? Why is Libra not working with me? Because you're making moves. <laughs> Because you're making moves, you're making changes, Libra, okay? Keep in mind, energy I pick up, guys, is energy you could be experiencing directly or energy of someone in your environment or someone that you're energetically attached to. And it is energy, so it can be vice versa. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from now till October 11th. Oh boy. Oh, Libra. We have a Knight of Pentacles. Virgo energy could also be Earth or Fire. And then we have an Ace of Cups in reverse. Libra, whatever changes you're making, someone's realizing that you're kind of moving away from them. Like I was saying, you're coming into some change. You're coming into some new shit. And you're having to leave some stuff behind. And for some, it's people. And they're coming after you. They're coming after you because they know you're getting away. They know you're getting away. And they're not, they're not cool with that shit. They're not cool with that shit. But it feels manipulative. That's what I mean. Like, that's why I don't like it. Because it's like, they're not working with me. They're not cooperating with me. But I feel manipulation behind it. So they're coming after you to make sure that you really don't get out of their clutches, Libra. <sighs> what did I say? Cherry in reverse. Cancerian energy. They want to stop you. King of Cups at the bottom. They might love you, Libra, but this is, I feel like it's out of selfish needs. I have to be honest. It's like they want to stop you from moving forward in your life. And it's your life right it's your life let's see what else we get out here libra why am i seeing licorice <laughs> maybe all are going to the movies i don't know all of a sudden i saw like red vines that was really weird <laughs> that was really weird maybe you guys are snacking on some red vines i don't know that was weird um libra uh. oh yep i thought i got a peeker see look ten of pentacles virgo energy Libra, they want to stop you from your Ten of Pentacles. They want to stop you from your stability, your abundance, the thing that's going to really provide you just with prosperity and stability, no matter what that is. And for a lot of you, like I said, this is a career move and they want to keep you from going there, okay? Like I said, King of Cups is still at the bottom. They love you. They do have love for you. But more than anything, they do want to keep you kind of in a controlling situation and you're not putting up with that shit. So they're chasing you down. They're chasing you down because they're like, shit, Libra's getting away and I'm not letting Libra get away. Libra. Oy. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get into your reading here. For those who are new to tarot and new to my channel, please know these are very general messages. Not all messages are for everybody, as you heard me set the intention. Messages come through for those who need them. So if it's not your week, it ain't your week. Nothing wrong with that. By all means, check out any other reader we have here on YouTube. Also, guys, energy can be reversed or vice versa. So switch your roles if you must. And don't get caught up on the gender. We all have masculine and feminine energy. Also, don't get hung up on the time frame. It's just purely for organizational purposes. Time ain't linear. Whenever you're gutted to watch a reading is when you're gutted to watch it. Okay. Any messages for my Libras regarding love? Any messages for my Libras regarding love from now? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, cards want to talk. The cards want to talk, guys. Any messages for my Libras regarding love? 
I just heard I gotta go. <laughs> Libra, I gots to go. You got to go and you already know it. For some of you, it does feel bittersweet though, especially I think for this person like chasing you down because I think you know that there's love there, but there's also this like weird kind of manipulative selfish pull from them, you know, and you know that too and you can't take that where you're going. Any messages for Libra regarding love from now till October 11th? October 10th is also going to be very significant, guys. Not to mention it is also 10-10. Any messages for my Libras regarding love from now till October 11th? So tell us something about your health here, Libra. What is this? This is only going to be for a couple of you. Um, as you make, for those who are making this change, as you make this change, your health is going to be improving very quickly, very quickly. Some of you are definitely leaving a toxic situation. You know who you are. You don't need confirmation on that. You already know what it is. Temperance in reverse, impatience, Sagittarian energy. You know, I, Libra, I can't shake this feeling. Whatever change you're making, you're not really telling anyone. If you are, very, very, very few people. But there's a sense of like restlessness and impatient, like impatience to kind of get going with it. This is interesting. Yeah, whatever change you're making, Libra, you're kind of trying to keep it under wraps as much as possible, but you're very anxious to, to make it happen. You're very anxious to make it happen. Any messages for my Libras? And you, I could tell you want to share. I could tell like you want to get it out. You want to talk to people about it, but you know it's better not to. For whatever reason, you know it's better not to. What are you doing, Libra? <laughs> Any messages for my Libras regarding love from now till October 11th? Mm. Ooh. Eight of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. Yeah, this is interesting. Like I said, some of you are releasing yourself from a toxic situation or a toxic person, a toxic environment, whatever it is. I feel like you've also had a little bit of anxiety when it comes to this change. But like I said, you know what's good for you. You know it's good for you. So this is dissipating and the excitement and impatience is kind of taking over, which is actually quite positive. I really like that. I really like that energy. Any other messages from my Libra is regarding love from now to October 11th? They're showing me the two of cups. I don't have, obviously I don't have, we only have the two cards right now, but they're showing me the two of cups. There's definitely a soulmate involved in this for some of you here, okay? Any other messages for Libra? Any other messages for Libra regarding love from now to October 11th? Ooh, the devil. Capricorn energy. What did I say? Releasing yourself from something toxic. I knew I felt that shit. I knew I felt that shit. Um, some of you, this could have just been an addiction, making those big life changes, and people are like, oh my god, who are you now? Um, or it could have just been like a toxic work environment or a toxic relationship. Like I said, for some of you, you're leaving a person behind and they're ticked off about it. They're ticked off about it. Any other messages for Libra? Any other messages for Libra? All right, so I got two more cards here. Ooh. <laughs> oh my goodness. We've got the twin flame card with the two of swords in reverse, moon and Libra energy. Oh my. Some of you are definitely leaving a relationship behind, a toxic relationship at that, for a counterpart. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> wow. And this is like specifically twin flame card. It's not like, a, you know, it's not a sub for like the lovers or anything. Like it's, it's, it's the twin flame card. Okay. It's the twin flame card. Wow. Oh my. I, it could also indicate that some of you, whatever this change is happening, it could also be a spiritual awakening or an ascension of some sort relating to, um, you know, the fact that you're a counterpart, maybe some of you don't realize you're a counterpart, but yeah, I, wow. Yeah. This is, this is intense guys. Yeah. Whatever change you're going into, it's for your soul. It's for your soul, whether it's a relationship, a career move, whatever it is, it's it's something that's at the core of your being. That's that's for, that's really calling for you to make this choice. And like I said, for some of you, it's definitely a counterpart situation. Wow. Overall energy, we do have 
Queen of Wands. Aries energy could also be fire or water. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles. Virgo energy. Oh, and looky, looky here. We've got the Queen of Cups. Cancerian energy. Could also be Pisces or Scorpio. Do we, do we feel a choice, people? Are we feeling a choice? What did I say? <laughs> Some of you are leaving one relationship for another. With Ten of Pentacles smack dab in the middle. Ten of Pentacles, like I said, it can be wealth. It can be career. It can be building a home. It could be family. Whatever it is, it's long-term legacy. Long-term legacy. I, honestly, guys, I do feel a little bit of a face-off here. This is crazy. I feel a little bit of a face-off energy. Cancer and energy is really strong in this, too. It's also indicating that you're bringing a lot of... Uh, love and passion to the situation love and passion to whatever legacy you're, you're coming into this feels like a big legacy move whatever you're doing libra it's a big legacy move and for a lot of you who are resonating with this who know your counterparts who know your counterparts there's a there's a decision being made in regards to that and toxicity is being released here and there's a hell of a lot of excitement and impatience to get this going libra <laughs> no wonder you wanted to go first okay Using the Rider Weight deck on Temperance in Reverse. Oh, I'm excited. This is a, like, I, like, I can feel your excitement, Libra. No wonder you're keeping this hush hush. Oh, I just heard there's a lot at stake. Okay, got it. There's a lot at stake. Tell me about Temperance in Reverse. Tell me about Temperance in Reverse for my Libras. Tell me about Temperance in Reverse for my Libras regarding love from now to October 11th. Yeah, I feel like these are big, quiet moves. And Libra, you're like, I want to say it. <laughs> oh my God. Libra, or like I said, this could be vice versa. Someone could be making this decision about you. Like hardcore Libra, definitely a lot of you. This is choosing one person over another. Removing yourself from toxicity. Someone could be doing this to you. If it's just you, like a solo reading, this is bringing passion and love to a major big ass career move or a legacy move, something that's gonna change your life. And you're leaving behind toxicity and people that don't serve you for those in that scenario, okay? Tell me about temperance in reverse. Tell me about temperance in reverse. For Libra, regarding love from now to October 11th. Time out temperance in reverse for Libra. Time out temperance in reverse for Libra regarding love. <laughs> that was gonna be intense reading. High priestess energy, Piscean energy could also be Gemini for me as a reader. Yeah, what did I say? You're keeping quiet. You're keeping your mouth zipped about this. Secret, secret, secrets. Time out temperance in reverse. But you're excited. I can feel it. You're so excited. Tell me about temperance in reverse for Libra regarding love from now till October 11th. Ooh, yeah, see, like, Knight of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. Some of you in this excitement, you might just be also withholding a lot of emotion. Like, almost like poker face is actually what I'm getting. Especially with this combination, like, like secret poker face, right? There's a lot going on under the surface. And you're like, I'm not giving it away. I'm not saying shit. I'm not giving any signs. I'm not giving any flags. I'm not saying shit. It's that, it's that kind of energy. Libra, I love you. What do we got here? Oh my. Oh, this is interesting. We're taking a little twist here. We have Nine of Wands, Sag energy with the world in reverse. Fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, Charles, Capricorn. Some of you, like I said, will be traveling. Some of you guys, that's going to be international travel, okay? Someone's fighting for a cycle to stay open. For those, honestly, very strongly, this is mostly for people leaving one relationship for another, okay? Or going from one person to another, or making a major career move and leaving someone behind. Essentially, leaving someone behind. Um, someone does not want this cycle to end. I feel like they're gonna put up a major fight here, Libra. I think that's also why you're keeping quiet about it. Yeah, that's also why you're keeping quiet about it. Talk about temperance in reverse. Talk about temperance in reverse for Libra. Boot camp. Why did I just hear boot camp? Oh, for those of you doing your little makeovers. Okay. Getting your workout on. Tell me about temperance in reverse. Libra's gotta look good for their birthday, right? Tell me about temperance in reverse. For Libra, regarding love. Overall energy. Page of cups. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That very sincere, very authentic. I, I almost feel like, again, I feel quiet with this. Like, offer of love. Why do I feel quiet about this? Um, this could come through in digital means, Libra, or you could be sending this out digitally. I feel like it's like hush, hush, quiet. Like, this is so strange. 
for those where this is a counterpart situation, I think this is through telepathy. Yeah, because it's like, you don't want anyone to know. So you're kind of like, <laughs> I'm kind of hoping they hear it like, <laughs> yeah, it's so interesting. It's like a quiet little message, a quiet offer of love. Like, I can't say it, but <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually. It's a little funny. Um, Libra, I also get like, why is this energy of like that, that cycles? This is pulling me. This is really pulling me strong. There's a lot of anger and resentment here with whoever doesn't want a cycle to end. They're really fighting. They're really, really fighting. They're putting up a good fight. And Libra, like I said, I think that's why you're being so quiet. I think that's why you're being so quiet about it and you're getting anxious and you're getting restless. But for whatever reason, it's like you're waiting for the right time to go for it. I don't know what this right time is, but you're waiting for the right time to go for it here to make an offer of love or to send that little like quiet little like, I want to tell you, but I can't tell you, so here, <laughs> I hope you get it, hope you receive it, could even be a letter, actually, some of this might even come across as a letter, um, but yeah, very anxious to get something going, but this cycle is like, this person's putting up such a fight, let's look at this energy a little closer, I'm going to use the Lenormand deck here on this one, tell me this person who's putting up a fight, what's the situation, what's the cycle that is not being closed out yet? see here ooh, yeah loyalty we have the dog with the energy of 18 breaking down to a nine so cycles trying to come to a completion with the ten of cups and 30 lilies energy of three uh king of swords aquarian energy could also be gemini or libra whoever's holding on oh this is hard Ooh, this is taking a hard turn whoever's holding on there's a sense of like of, of loyalty here okay and a lot of love a lot of love and the lilies I'm getting I'm actually getting maturity I don't know why I'm getting maturity here um is this what's coming out or hold on I'm talking to them is this what's ending or coming in oh it's coming in oh my okay this is coming in okay so this very mature loyalty a lot of love here and with the king of swords it's a very honest it's a very honest love. It's a very honest loyalty here. This is not what's ending. This is what's trying to come in, but someone's fighting against that. Someone's fighting against that. Tell me more about the cycle. We've got the heart. 24, break it down to a six, and we've got Knight of Cups. Sorry, Mom. We have the Knight of Cups, okay? The Knight of Cups here. Oh boy. Yeah, so someone knows Libra, again, this is why I think you're being so quiet about this. This is definitely a counterpart reading, my goodness. Uh, for non-counterparts, it could still apply. It could still apply. Just know that. Because counterparts is just, it's a next level situation. But at the end of the day, it's a major soul connection. Okay? Yeah. There's a hell of a lot of, like, love, maturity, loyalty in whatever connection you're trying to go into, Libra, or whatever it is you're trying to go into career-wise. It does feel like it's love-related, though, for most of you, okay? And the person that doesn't want you to go into that is fighting that. They're very aware. They're very aware of what it is. But I think that's why you're also being so goddamn quiet about it. That's why you're being quiet about this escape, so to speak. Let's see what else we get out here. Tell me more about the cycle that's being kept open. Tell me more about the cycle that's being kept open. Wow. Yeah. Now we have the bouquet, energy of nine. Another nine here with the queen of swords. So we have a king of swords and a queen of swords just in the Lenormand deck alone. There's a lot of honesty, a lot of love, and a lot of loyalty with what is with what you're trying to go into, Libra. And someone's like, where the fuck you going? <laughs> they know. Libra, Libra, they know. Okay? They know. Overall, wow. Wow. Oh my God. Couldn't be any clearer, Libra. We've got the woman, 29, with the ace of swords. We've got the broom, 11. Knight of wands. They're very tiny cards, guys. The letter, 27, breaking down to a nine, another nine, with the seven of swords, communication. The ship, another three, with the ten of swords. And then we've got another woman. The broom is about cleaning shit up, getting shit right, being very honest. With communication, the ship is about moving on, moving forward. So cleaning up shit, being honest with one person, getting the hell out of Dodge to another person yeah i i okay it's getting intense guys okay someone just got intense anxiety calm down <laughs> oh man i felt that someone just got really intense anxiety just just calm it down okay everything's gonna be okay everything's gonna be fine 
it's like oh it's like it's affecting my heart chakra guys so this is interesting because this anxiety like with excitement it's anxiety with excitement like i feel like some of you are like oh my god they're coming i almost feel like some of you guys are are are, are, are feeling that oh my god they're coming and now you're kind of panicking it's okay it's, it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine now eight of swords in verse with the devil so releasing from toxicity releasing from bondage also i'm getting a lot of codependency with this i'm getting <sighs> oh oh this is interesting i'm getting a major freaking download um ow <sighs> oh this sucks this so sucks uh someone feels um really bonded to someone like more like they 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 have to support them but they're breaking free from that so libra if this is you because keep in mind now we got three people involved in this uh so pick whoever you are in this scenario it's gonna be different for everybody um but whoever's doing the leaving like going into something amazing and leaving behind something that's a little bittersweet because it's like there's love there but there's also a lot of toxicity right and this energy of codependency uh whatever this dependency is coming from there's like a sense of guilt here which is why i think it's taking this person a while to kind of release themselves there's a sense of guilt because there's this energy of like i have to stay because you're not stable I have to say because you're not oh 11 11 ha huh? <laughs> i can tell that just with my glasses off oh yeah 11 11 oh that's cool oh my god this is an intense read anyway yeah there's a sense of like i can't leave because you're not stable i i have to like it's almost an energy of like i have to be there because they're not emotionally stable they're not financially stable like whoever's being left here it's almost like they can't cope with life they can't cope with themselves and it's become very burdensome and whoever's doing this leaving uh has really recognized that really really recognized that i don't even feel the need to clarify this because that's very clear cut but twin flame and two of swords in reverse let's go here because this is the juicy ju juicy the juicy the juicy shit the juicy shit let's look at two of swords in reverse oh libra you're taking me for a ride this morning okay using gilded tarot on the two of swords in reverse Talk about the two of swords in reverse. Libra, I'm like flabbergasted. I'm flabbergasted here. Talk about the two of swords in reverse. I mean, it, I really feel for the person getting left behind. Don't get me wrong. I feel really, really bad for them because it's like, they've got some stuff to work on, right? It's like, there's obviously love there, but this person just has some stuff they have to work on. And it happens. And I don't condone cheating. Y'all know me. I don't condone cheating. So I'm about two of swords in reverse, but I also don't condone toxic relationships. So feels like a good choice, Libra. So I'm about two of swords in reverse. So I'm about two of swords in reverse. So I'm about two of swords in reverse for Libra regarding love from now till October 11th. So I'm about two of swords in reverse for Libra. Regarding love from now to October 11th. Time about two of swords in reverse for Libra. Regarding love from now to October 11th. Nine of cups in reverse, Piscean energy. A lot of disappointment here. There's, yeah, I'm also getting a lot of overindulgence. I feel like, uh, ooh, I feel like it's taken a long time to come to this decision. A life, yeah, I feel like it's, it's been quite a struggle to come to this decision. So I feel like whoever's been having to make this choice and Libra, I do feel like it's you. If you're one, if you're one of these feminine energies, then, you know, pick your poison. All right. But Nine of Cups in reverse, I do feel overindulgence with this to deal with making this choice or to deal with this struggle. Yeah, someone realized they're not happy where they are. Talk about Two of Swords. And, and there's the tower. Scorpionic energy could also be Aries because it is Mars yeah it, yeah it's like someone's really struggled with this because they know they have to bring in the tower here they know they know they have to bring in the tower moment talk about the two of swords in reverse talk about the two of swords in reverse there's the two of cups can't Syrian energy could also be soulmate energy the fact that it's in reverse yeah this is bringing them down that tower to leave that situation leave that person um, leave that toxicity behind. Talking about the Two of Swords in reverse. Let's see here. Ooh, ooh, wow. 
Death and the Hanged Man. Scorpionic energy and also Piscean energy. A lot of water going on here, Libra. A lot of water. You could be a Libra Scorp Cusper, but not necessarily. I also see Cancer. We've also got Pisces all over the place. We actually, we got all the major arcana from all the water signs, okay? Um, but with this energy, this is really contemplating that ending. I'm also getting a little bit of like a dark night of the soul, spiritual awakening energy with this, because especially death, that transformative energy with the spiritual enlightenment, that is definitely the epitome of ascension, awakenings, and also dark night of the soul energy here, okay? Um, someone could be going through, someone could have been going through this, the person who's making this decision, could have been going through this and coming to the tunnel end of it, the tunnel end of it, the end of the tunnel. <laughs> Ah, oh, the end of the tunnel with it. Why did that sound weird? You guys know what I'm trying to say. You guys know what I'm trying to say. Coming to the end of this process, realizing what they have to do. Keep in mind, like I said, guys, in the beginning, this could play out all the way through to December, okay? So I'm with the Two of Swords in reverse. Oh, wow. Tell me about the Two of Swords in reverse. Yeah, someone realized they are not happy. Tell me about Two of Swords in reverse. For Libra regarding love from now till October 11th. Yeah, look. Four of Cups with the Queen of Wands in reverse. Aries energy could also be fire or water with the Four of Cups, Cancerian energy. Yeah, whoever's doing this leaving has realized they are not happy with this Queen of Wands energy. Um, I'm get, again, I'm getting that instability, right? Queen of Wands, I'm also getting a little bit of like ingenuous energy. Correct me, whatever. A lot of y'all correct me on my grammar all the time. I really don't care. Anyway, um, just inauthentic right this person's inauthentic because they don't know who they are they're not comfortable within themselves and they have trouble coping and there is a bit of toxicity there because of codependency and really needing a lot of support and libra like i said libras i feel like you're the one making this choice you're you're over it with that four of cups you're so over it over energy we do have four of wands in reverse aries energy yeah wanting to really leave this behind wanting to really leave this behind because you know what else is out there you know you could be happy and for a lot of you it's already another person okay wow <laughs> wow okay let's get some advice let's get some advice here i'm gonna use the spirit animal deck any advice from i mean this seems pretty clear cut i don't think you really need advice but and for my queen of wands who are being left look it's in your best interest things happen for a reason even if you're look and i'm not saying you're a bad person queen of wands i'm not saying that okay you're probably a very good person, but sometimes two pe two great people can get together and create a toxic situation. It just depends on what's being brought to the table, right? So Queen of Wands, this is in their best interest too. You can go into a situation that's not as toxic, right? And, you know, and also just to be honest, guys, this is definitely like counterpart versus soulmate. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Any other advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Come on. Thank you. Any other advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Libras? I would not be surprised if we get the wolf. I don't know why I feel really a really strong wolf energy all of a sudden. Uh, it's wisdom. It's wisdom and maturity. There's a lot of that theme going on here. We actually have the mature card, right? Um, Ooh. <laughs> sorry sorry i got so excited what guess what came out uh-huh <laughs> oh my god i'm sorry guys that's like insane i love when that happens okay i know i'm, I'm full of energy today wolf spirit <laughs> turn knowledge into wisdom 67 breaking down to a four stability flamingo spirit embrace the in between 26 breaking down to an eight here we have a four to the eight that's a major major doubling rate that's very fast energy that this will be transpiring from making the decision having the conversations getting shit done getting to that ten of pentacles flamingo spirit is about being in transition from point a person a to point b person b like i said for some of you you're going into a career 
right? Or making a major career move and leaving someone behind. It doesn't have to be going into a relationship, but for a lot of you it is, okay? For a lot of you it is here. This is about handling it in a mature way, and I think by keeping quiet, Libra, waiting for the right time to handle this appropriately is exactly what you need to do, okay? It's exactly what you need to do, and you already know that. You already know that, because once you, once you go, you're, you're going. It's like, it's gonna be boom, 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 boom. It's gonna happen very, very fast, because you've already been thinking about it, You've already been planning on it. You already know. You already know. And if you're not doing that, then keep quiet, okay? <laughs> and then we have lizard spirit, dream the world into being. 38 breaking down to an 11. Manifestation energy here. You manifested this, Libra. You manifested this. I'm also hearing stay positive. I'm also hearing stay positive. Some of you in this like angsty, angsty, angsty. Is that a word? Anxious, um, anxious energy try to remain positive, try to remain calm. It's going to help with your manifestation of this, okay? Any other advice for my Libras? Dolphin spirit. This and that are true. 20 bring it down to a two. This is about being balanced in your light and dark energies, being balanced in your masculine and feminine energies. And for my counterparts out there, you know how important that is, okay? There's also an energy of transition as well. You got two major transition cards, but more so about being balanced within your transition, remaining grounded, remaining smart, remaining mature, remaining quiet, remaining calm, okay? Any other advice for my Libras regarding this spread? God, a lot of advice, Libra. <laughs> Swan spirit, time for a deep dive. 60 breaking down to a six. This is a very Piscean card for me. Ooh. Oh, Libras, this is interesting. For my Libras who are making this decision, because a lot of you this could be vice versa. Some of you are the Queen of Cups. Hold on, let me hold them up. Let me hold them up here. Some of you are the Queen of Cups, some of you are the Queen of Wands. Again, pick your poison. Libras, I'm getting that a lot of you have kind of even resisted this for a while, which is why I think it took you so long to come to this decision because you didn't realize how unhappy you were, where you are, or who you're with, okay? There's a, there's a sense of like really needing to go within emotionally and checking yourself a little bit here for those who haven't done that. And I feel like once you do that, making these decisions will be very easy because some of you I feel like are still in contemplation mode, a little confused, like what's really best for me, what's really best for me? You got to really dig deep in those emotions and go into like how you really feel about something. And I think once you do that, you're going to realize how deep, deep, deep a connection is that you have with one of these people. Okay. Also be honest in your emotions. There, I'm also getting this thing about ego. Hold on. What is this? This is more for my male Libras. Um, male Libras? Yes. They're saying yes. Well, that's interesting. That's very specific. Um, that's what they're telling me. I'm going to say masculine energy Libras. Okay, I'm going to say masculine dominant Libras as opposed to male because I don't uh, I don't like getting specific with gender because, you know, we're all just in energy, right? Um, but that's what they're telling me about this, this ego, this ego thing to not hide your emotions behind your ego. <laughs> I'm not throwing shade. I'm just the messenger. They want me to tell you it's more attractive to let all of your emotions show and not hide behind an ego. Masculine Libras, okay. Uh, don't hate me, don't shoot me. I'm just the messenger. <laughs> Any other advice from my Libras regarding this spread? Oh, oh my goodness. Nightingale spirit, love is all around. 41 breaking down to a five here. So change and transformation. You're in the epitome of change. Literally the two transition cards out of the whole deck. You guys know me. For those who are new to my channel, when this card comes out for me, it's indicative of a very significant love interest being involved in this. And there's two, right? But being surrounded by love, being surrounded by true love at that, because overall we've got dove spirit, be peace. 21 breaking down to a three. This is having peace. This is having calm. This is having balance and a healthy divine spiritual connection as well, especially paired with the nightingale spirit. I mean, that's just the epitome of divine love right there. I'm like, I, I'm still, I, I <laughs> can't talk. I still can't believe the twin flame card came out here. This is intense, Libra, and congratulations to whoever this is for, because leaving behind toxicity, no matter the circumstances, leaving behind toxicity is always in your best interest, no matter who you are, no matter where you're headed, you always got to get rid of toxicity, okay? And for a lot of you, you're coming into something that's really, really magical. Underneath that, I just have to point it out, badger spirit, be fearless and bold, Libra. Like I said, don't let that anxiety get the best of you. Energy of four, some more stability here. Be very confident here, but not in your ego. Be confident in your emotions. I like that. Be strong in your emotions, not in your ego. 
Ego's not gonna get you anywhere with this. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, ego's not gonna get you anywhere with this. Only being true in your emotions and being incredibly transparent. And I think for, for some of you, especially my masculine Libras, that's kind of a challenge. That's kind of a challenge. You can be very confident and strong in your emotions. That's actually incredibly sexy, I have to be honest, especially if you're like a man. That's incredibly sexy to, to females. I'm just saying it is. Ladies, I know you all agree with me on that, okay? Not vulnerable, sweet, tender, strong in your emotions. There is a difference. There's a difference. I've seen it recently. There's a difference. Okay? All right, Libras, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And you can catch me tonight at 7 p.m. Pacific live to talk about the new moon in Libra energies and what to expect. I will see you guys later. Have a great week and a great night. Namaste.